everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video and uh, just a disclaimer that it is a couple of days late because I filmed this on August 1st, very, very late at night. My husband and I had to go to bed. We were exhausted from a crazy busy weekend, but I still wanted to film it and of course I had to edit it when he went back to work. So. That's why it's a little bit late. Ideally, I'd like to get these monthly and weekly plan with me's done, you know, probably the day of or the day before, but uh, that is how it happened. Another disclaimer is that it is crazy hot in our house right now. We live in Edmonton, Alberta. We're going through a heat wave again. I think this is either the third or the fourth of the summer. And I tried to turn off the fans and the air conditioners. I just can't. I'm so sorry. I do apologize for the fuzzy background noise, but that literally, I've got a fan blowing on me right now and I've got an air conditioner in the kitchen, one upstairs and multiple fans going throughout the house. So yes, we don't have built-in air conditioning. Usually we don't need it. This summer has been a huge exception. This video is basically my monthly setup and I think I'm going to do my weekly setup as well for my Franklin planner. This is the Teresa Collins and Franklin the Cl planner collab that I'm using. It is the blush color. I have made some changes to it. This isn't the final setup before I start using it. <laughs> I am using it. So, oh geez, you guys, I planned to use this binder starting in January. And I got so excited. I went and got the blooms inserts from July to next June. And I have been using it every single day. Like I, I love it so much. I have still been using my happy planner system and you know, a bullet journal. Oh my gosh. My, um, Erin Condren, I've still been doing some work in there and also my cultivate what matters goal planning system. So I've been integrating pieces from all of my other systems into this binder and into this planner so i yeah there's a lot of things going on but i wanted to do one of these videos to see what your take is on it if you like this type of video i used to do plan with me's all the time but i was a huge decorative planner so i'd use a lot of stickers and then plan out my life and show you guys what what, what i had going on and that's what we're gonna do today uh, there's a lot of things that i have written down from july i've done so much stuff this past month like it's unbelievable how much i've got done i'm really proud of myself but there's still a lot more that i need to accomplish before my son goes back to school in September. Without further ado, I want to just get into this. Uh, a disclaimer again, it will be changing, like I'm going to be changing my planner. It's going to be my Franklin binder, obviously, but I will change the insides of it before January comes. So I will have like a final flip through of it. And this isn't so much a flip through or an explanation of everything I have in here. It's more of just the monthly plan of me for August. And then the potentially the first week of August because I haven't planned for today. So my entire August 1st spread is empty. And I mean, it's already over. It's already like 1230 at night. So I'm, I'm going to probably feel guilty because that one page is completely blank. But uh, anyway, we're going to get planning. And so this is the inside of my binder. And again, I don't want to go into explanations about everything. Um, I have purchased the cloth and paper subscription because I wanted to see what you know what the products look like I've never bought anything from cloth and paper before so I have a few things going on I've got some business cards I've got some stickers I have some um, post-its uh, these are from simply gilded which I love and I also am inspired uh, just a shout out again to Marsha from Buy Sell Plan. So she's like the main person I watch for Franklin Planning. I do see a few other people, but uh, I really like the Plan With Me videos. I mean, when you have stuff to plan, it's really interesting to see what other people do. So I want to do that with you guys and just kind of show you how I use my sections of my planner. So anyway, I was inspired by Marsha and I set up these weekly task cards. I've got a quarterly one, monthly, weekly, daily. Very similar to what she has because until I actually start using it, like as we set up this month, I'll know more uh, whether this is going to work for me or not. 
and the same with the weekly. I don't know if this is exactly what I'll do, but I can change it because obviously I just used a label maker and just labeled these. And these cards, by the way, are actually washi cards from Simply Gilded. So all I did is I cut them down a little bit to fit in this plastic card holder. And then I cut the corners to be rounded. And then I just, you know, used my, my label maker and made little labels on them and it works good. So I kept that at the front right behind the page lifter here, which I'm technically using as a dashboard for my sticky notes. Um, everything is kind of like themed pink, I guess, but not really intentional. Purple is my favorite color, uh, for those of you who know. And the other thing that bugs me about what I have going on right here is this situation. So I made these dividers when I first set up my planner. Uh, this is cardstock I got from Michaels. It's beautiful. They're they're not like flimsy to say, but the tabs aren't partly, you know, they're not plastic coated, so I don't have protection on the tabs. And the other thing I noticed is that once I put my Franklin tabs in here, they're almost longer than the ones I made. So I think what I'll do uh, going forward, I might get a different color of paper. I don't know, but I'm going to go back into my my Cricut design space and I'm going to make dividers that are I think probably the tabs will be longer and also stick out further and then I might see if I can get some I might use translucent sticker paper or find some type of like protective shield to like protect the tabs but that's something I'm going to do in the future uh, for right now what I have is working for me so we'll just you know deal with what I have here but my sections I have introduction and in there, I've got the planner guide, I've got key information, which is personal stuff, values, missions, and my goal section. And then it jumps to the schedule, which is where we'll kind of look at right now. Uh, I'll probably jump back to the goal section. I have been going a little nuts with my goals and I've added a whole bunch of stuff that I kind of want to start tracking and, and doing. And I know we're already in the third quarter of the year, but I mean, there's no rules, right? You can do whatever you want when it comes to goals and, um, you know, your future. So that's where I'm going with that. And also my system here isn't, like I said, it's not set in stone. I don't have everything that I want to have set up exactly. So what I've done is I have these Teresa Collins inserts under the monthly section. I think this is all of the monthly section because then it doesn't oh yeah I know this is a week okay so for um, this is like the monthly page and then I just have the daily highlights which unfortunately I didn't even I didn't even finish but I did a lot of it and um, again August I'll just put anything that needs to be to be here I think I added yeah I did goals on this page it kind of worked um, but I'd rather just have like a monthly task list but I guess the monthly task list is pretty much on the daily the, like all the the business and the personal stuff that I need to get done that's on the daily sheets so I was thinking of using this as like a place to write my goals which kind of worked out so maybe that's just what I'll continue to do like here so um, I'll tell you guys right now, I won't go into my goals um, in my goal section, but I ended up getting 819 subscribers, so I didn't quite make my goal, but that's something that is kind of out of my control. I couldn't, you know, you can't force people to subscribe to you, so, but I, I came pretty darn close here. Um, wake up early, so that's another one that I'm, I want to start, and, it, and maybe to also kind of get used to getting up early again for when my son goes back to school in September. I want to start getting up early every day and going to bed at the same time. I am also a night owl and like I've been going to bed at three, four o'clock in the morning like every night. Uh, this weekend was especially bad. It was the night before last, 4.30 in the morning. We also had a date night, so that, you know, was an exception. But usually about the average is about 1.32, uh, which is still pretty late. So. Uh, we, we're going to try to start, like when Chad goes back to work, I want to start getting up, you know, latest six o'clock in the morning and then going to bed by 11 midnight latest. And I think that's a good, um, a good time for me. 
So this one I did not start yet. Organize and clean, like I was telling you guys, I I did so much work. So that for sure I got done. Um, this, that's just something I added on there. It's a personal thing. Um, my prompt book, I did start it. I haven't been following up with prompts every day every day but I think I've been doing it every week so that's kind of the goal I sat started for myself because I journal already pretty much like twice a day but uh, I wanted to start doing prompts which kind of feel like a bit more like my regular journaling is just like things that have happened throughout the day and like how I'm feeling but the prompt book is to kind of learn more about myself so that's the point there my Scotia visa I didn't pay it off completely um, I have like a little bit of a hundred, it's a little bit over a hundred dollars balance left on there. So unfortunately that did not pan out. Um, I didn't make my goal for my affiliate and check balances. I did that. Okay. So all of this stuff happened and that's it. So then I guess for August, um, Oh yeah, we should totally get out the task card. See, I, I don't even know, um, this isn't even that organized, to be honest, because I don't even know what I'm doing here. So I've got monthly, weekly, and then daily. I don't know if I'll get to daily today, but uh, we'll see how we do here. Yeah, it says review goals and then transfer tasks. So this is where it kind of gets confusing for me and I'm still developing my system and like what I want to do. So that is for the monthly and I've got like all the months until the end of December. I jumped to the week and I've got this, you know, the cover page for and the future log for these sheets that I got. Um, July, this is goals and tasks. Um, all of the stuff going on. Right. Okay. So here's this is kind of where I had one of the list. This was more for like, yeah, this was for the month, but then also if I go to this section, which is like the blooms inserts, I also have like the monthly master task list, but you can see how big my list actually was. I got so much done this month. It's not even funny. I'm really proud of myself. So now I'm like, do I want to be using this one or do I want to use this? I probably won't continue on with both of them come the, uh, the new year because it's a lot of work. But I don't think I need all of this in here. And I already have August. So I'm going to take out all of July. I think it will make my binder a little bit... Um, a little bit smaller as well so I don't know why I have this extra grocery list in here so this is coming out okay so what we're gonna do is take out all of July because I don't need I don't think I need this I will carry over these same tasks that I had from July I'll just see I'll kind of compare the two and we'll go through and um, see what needs to get done.
Uh, looking at the calendar here, the only appointment I have is on the 18th and it's um, a personal banking matter. So I just recently got my business accounts in order um, and I actually took care of a whole bunch of stuff um, regarding my like transferring over all of my account numbers for all my business stuff. I did that today so I'm not even going to write that down because it's already done. But um, I've got three birthdays this month and a child will be home only pretty much one week of the month. Sometimes it works out to be two. And um, we might be going to Red Deer again when he comes home because it's the last week and weekend he has off before summer is pretty much ending. But I've got the appointment and we've, we've just got a few things that we want to do. So um, it's not written in stone yet. We don't really know. And um, basically that's it for the monthly calendar view. And then for the action items and meals, um, I've been getting terrible at actually making meals when my husband is away at work. Um, I really want to start eating healthier and eat, like buying more fruit. Um, my daughter is in that transition stage where she's eating like the baby food, but she can also eat, you know, our food. So I'm going to start buying more more stuff that she might like. I want to buy kiwi and pineapple and all those types of things. So I've got some more things I want to organize and clean up. So that's on there. Um, I want to take all of the pictures off my phone and airdrop them to my hard drive and pay off my credit card is one of my main goals, um, which actually we could probably put on the, this is the old one here probably put that on the main goal page right here. And we might even be able to pay one more. So we'll just put that on there as well. Uh, those are like our main goals, like finance goals anyway, for this year is to pay off some credit card debt. And as far as work business, I want to try to get my P.O. box set up before my sticker sales start. And um, I'm going to be having a Labor Day sale. I haven't really determined the percent off I'm going to have yet, but I do need to get some sticker ideas set up, some back to school stickers and uh, for teachers, for students, and um, even like online learning because that might still be a thing for some people, as well as homeschool. And then also some fall sticker sets. Um, I need to have a brainstorming session for my blog and possibly potential video ideas. I also want to write in stone the rest of my video ideas and blog ideas for the rest of the year, which is kind of a big to do. It's kind of a, it's a big goal, I think, because um, uh, sometimes those videos change and if the videos don't change I just usually move them around and the dates change and then I need to consolidate my July expenses which I haven't done yet usually I do it on the first of the month but today was uh, pretty busy we actually went swimming today so I uh, didn't have time for that today and then yes yeah, so I've got this tentative meal plan um, because it'll just be me cooking for myself and my kids while my husband is away this week and then on this page, so this is like my week at a glance, which I, I like to have, and that's pretty much why I bought this Teresa Collins weekly setup, because I just like to see my entire week instead of like the day by itself. So I've got my like tasks on here, and I'm pretty sure this is when our garbage comes, so our garbage pickup is only every two weeks. So I'm pretty sure I'll write garbage on there. So. Thursday night, I'll need to take out the garbage. And basically, um, I've written this in big marker because I theme and batch my days. Um, batching just means I do a lot of the same thing at one time, but theming my days has really been helping um, because I have a seven-year-old son and a 15-month-old daughter, and I can't, I can't schedule my days exactly right because their needs come first so as long as I get to my stickers on Tuesday um, this is the day my husband leaves he'll leave about 11 so I have pretty much all day to work on that um, Wednesday I need to work on my blog 
I, I do currently have up until the end of August done. Thursday is my editing day, so I need to um, drop all of my videos I have on my phone to my computer and then decide which one needs to be done first, which I actually have a few, which will include this one. Um, and that's already on, on the 5th, so I might try to get that up a little bit earlier for you guys. Um, Saturday I'll be planning and then Friday stickers again because I, I do need to get those up before September. And then Saturday is plan and then Sunday hopefully a day off. And then this is just the priority, you know, list of stuff I want to get done this week. We'll see. Um, like, I, I like having the monthly list, but I also like having the weekly list. And then that is it for the weekly. So I'm going to pop this back in my binder. The July one can go. I will wrap that up and put it elsewhere. Um, so usually I've been putting like the two months ahead, but for now I'll just leave the August alone in here by itself. And then we're going to go to the daily section. So this is another monthly section in here. Um, again, this was goals for July. So I, I haven't, I've been trying to uh, do what I call commonplace book and I haven't been writing it every day so I think for August I changed my goals to just reflect that to do it once a week which is a little bit more manageable in my case. We did the freezer inventory, organized the pantry, uh, 10 minute tidy I've been doing really good with that, journaling and prompts I've been doing both of those. Um, I read, I haven't copied my notes um, I've read lots of books. I actually read four books this month, which was amazing. Um, I gained close to 820 subscribers. It ended up being 819. Um, my secondary channel, I'm only at 39, but I mean, that's good compared, like I was at 12, like a week ago or two weeks ago. So that's really good. Um, Scotiabank didn't get paid off. I haven't been sleeping Eight hours for sure I haven't been and the water I still need to work on that so that's not too bad um, not a lot happened and I'm pretty sure I can just pull out all of July because I don't really want to keep the previous month I don't I don't think I don't know I haven't really I haven't really decided but I like the index of, I have been using the index of these. So I'm gonna pull this out right now. I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to fast forward so you guys can kind of watch me write. Um, and then we'll come back and chat about it just a little bit. Oh, and then I just wanted to show you guys, this is actually the daily itinerary from Cloth and Paper. These, I didn't like round the corners at all. I just left them the way they are, but uh, I did hole punch them. <laughs> These are from Cloth and Paper. They're from my very first um, subscription box, but they're really nice. The paper is really thick. It's almost like a cardstock paper. All right, let's get into it.
so that is pretty much it for uh, my list. It's pretty much the same as on the weekly sheets. I just, I think that's a little bit of overkill. I don't need to have both. Um, I like the other one for the goals section though. So I don't really know which I like better, but this already comes with the dailies and I really like the day on two pages. Uh, since I've been doing it, I'm just falling in love with it. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I do need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, same, pretty much the same things as before. And then I realized that this is like today. So I just wrote, I kind of backtracked what I did today. And then we can quickly write out the plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a holiday, but I'm probably still going to be doing some videos. So the thing what I do when my husband is home, I do, I film all of my videos. And then when he's gone, I do my editing. I do all of my admin stuff. And uh, it's been working really well for the past, I don't know, five, five months or so. And I've been getting a lot of work done and I have been very, very productive. So that makes me happy. Uh, the only thing I'd like to do before we get into the daily is to do my weekly compass card. So um, we're going to check off this stuff and just um, see that I've accomplished it. And I wonder if I should do this on my goal section or not. Um, on the previous month, what I had done was I put my goals on the first page, the index page, and it seemed to work okay. But uh, now that I'm going to be using the Teresa Collins, I don't really know if I should put it here or not. But for the compass card, I think we can go ahead and do that. We'll just do that for like last last month. So the one thing I noticed is that even though this is on the daily page, it's like my bookmark to get to the daily. I, I realize I don't really look at this that much, but uh, thankfully most of this stuff was the things I needed to get done. The only thing is um, I didn't drink the water. I did journal, so that was good. I journaled uh, every day except for one day, so I didn't make that goal. So we're just going to say water, which was, I think it's already up here. I did not. Journal. I was six out of seven. Meditate. Um, I've been learning about it, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, reading I did. Um, date night. That was the rule of wife. We did go on a date night. And it was a very, very fun. Um, I did none of this stuff with my son, so I need to do that this month. Uh, that will be one of the big goals for August is to um, help my son to write and read some books because um, that's important. So I will definitely carry that over to the new compass card. Um, cooking breakfast, I did. Entrepreneur. Affiliate sale, no. But I did do my analytics and I did my statistics as well today. And creator, uh, I did the monthly, weekly, that will be this video, plan with me. And sticker design, I will be doing that. I didn't get to it this week prior because I had left my Apple Pencil in Red Deer when we went to visit last, so I didn't get a chance to. But I will be doing it this upcoming week. So stickers, unfortunately, no. And that's it. So this is probably just going to go in the garbage. I probably won't keep this. So now moving on to the new one. Um, the date would be um, physical, again, water. I need to drink at least four bottles a day. Um, a mental, I'm going to put meditate once again and see if I can start. Spiritual, um, I've got some books I want to read. Social and emo emotional would be journal and prompts. Okay, so my role as a mother, so will be read, write, and maybe play. So we'll go to the spray park. 
um, entrepreneur. I really need to work on my designs this week. And editing. And you know what, scheduling as well. So I guess that would be more of the, the creator. So let's put creator, entrepreneur, will be schedule, scheduling. Um, my husband's going to be out of town, so we won't do anything there. And I think I'll put, maybe call my sister. Okay, and I think that's it for that. So I'm just going to put it back into my plastic page finder here. And then I'm going to schedule tomorrow and we'll see what the day brings us here. And that'll be it. Okay, so that is pretty much it. So uh, sometimes what I do is I like to schedule out my day beforehand and you know, it doesn't always go this way. Um, if I forget or if I don't get time, I just back schedule it and just write down what we actually did. And then these are all the tasks I plan on trying to accomplish tomorrow. So um, technically I hadn't had any videos to film tomorrow, but these are all the ones I had to play catch up on. So um, hopefully I get them all done and then all of my videos will be done. Um, like the goal of filming all of the, the list of videos I had when my husband was home will be done. So um, I hope I get to those. And that is pretty much it. So um, I know this was a little bit uh, all over the place because this was my very first time planning in my Franklin planner, but I'm excited to learn as I go, I guess. is. The best way to do it so we're just gonna put these back in here and as of last month I only started the mid of July so I never had the full month in here but now I've got the full month so it's probably gonna add a little bit of space here and I didn't say this but the other thing that I actually did is I went ahead and got the 1.5 inch rings so this binder came with the 1.25 and I have it jam-packed <laughs> As you can probably see, it's got a lot of different sections in here. I, I find that the, the 1.5 gives a lot more room and the binder, it, it's hard to close, like it's quite thick, but you know, it is what it is. It, it works, works well. The other thing I want to do is just put in, oh, I don't really know what day to put it in at. I'll put it in after Sunday, but I have this shopping list here. This is from Franklin Planner. It has like meat, produce, dairy, bakery, etc., etc. So I can just read in all of that. And then I know exactly what like the sections are of the grocery list. I like having that there. I guess I should have looked at my goals. Other than those things, I would probably want to add focus on sticker creation. And then the last thing, so actually designing the stickers, I need to mark it for it just to get the word out there that I'm having a sale on Labor Day. And then also probably the blog brainstorming session. And then I guess the last thing is like scheduling the rest of the year. So 
So I think I think that's good. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much how I've been how I've been doing this. Again, yeah, I feel like this is a little repetitive because I don't really need two calendars unless I was going to use one for content. But for my content, I actually printed off from the list lab. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, this is my home budget. Here is my content schedule. Planning. So this was for August. So um, basically how I use these cute little sheets, I put my what I wanted to plan. So I think I have enough sheets in here for the rest of the year. But I'm going to go ahead and um, fill those out. So I had like the schedule, what was going on. So here you can see I've been batching. So I film, I batch film for like the entire week. And then I do all of my stuff around that. And I write down which videos, which blogs are going to be um, posted. These are the videos to film, everything to edit, and then my voiceovers. So this actually worked out quite well for this month. So we'll probably do that again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you. Last but not least, click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye now. Yeah.